The next stage is the design. As we like to say on Saburo, the style, because our customers cut style. And here is the style that we're going to make our jacket in. Now, for the very, very first time, exclusively to you and all who are doing the mastered course, I'm going to allow you to use my signature style. Here, based with a 24-karat gold stripe on a Super 150s cloth. What is actually different about this style is the lapel details, the pocket details, and the handcraft tailoring, which I will point out to you now. The outside chest pocket is cut in harmony with the shoulder line. The lapel, the width at the top, with a real flower hole, with a loop at the back to accommodate the stem of a flower, should your customer wish to wear a flower, follows down to the button one styling, well balanced when it's unbuttoned, stays together, and then follows through to the side pocket detail, which the pocket line begins below the waistline. So when the pockets at the sides are occupied, it builds the hip up. When the inside pockets are occupied, it builds the chest up, it does not interfere with the waistline. So what we're trying to do is create the optical illusion, if you like, of a small waist. So we do not bulk the waistline. Follows through to the side here, real buttonholes on the cuffs, functional. They can all be unbuttoned. You can see here they're all real. We'll be making five button cuffs for our pure cashmere chalk stripe suit. The inside of the garment you see, a touch of fun, expressing a bit of personality here with the fancy lining, but the lining actually coordinates with the blue on the suit. Two inside pockets. What we'll be doing in addition is giving you a ticket pocket on the left facing for business cards or mobile phone and so on. What you'll also observe is the hand stitches on the edge. We've done that on the seams. We've done it all the way through, also on the side, under, under the arm, the front, and importantly, at the back of the sleeves. So we have style at the front of the garment and also at the back, because if I swivel this garment around, you will see that we've got two vents and the hand stitch follows through on the side and at the center back seam here. Observe also the, the distance apart on the stripe on the seam is the same, so we do not disturb the stripe there coming into the waist and we finish with a complete stripe. And that is the style we'll be working on. So you'll see the transformation from that flat piece of cloth into something that looks very, very close to, to this garment here. I noticed the uh, flower hole in the lapel is different to the one on the cuffs. Um, is there any reason for that? Well, I, I discussed earlier on style. The difference between style and fashion is that style would last a lot longer than fashion. Fashion is to discredit what you have so you can go out and buy something new. But uh, here, the flower hole is, uh, is practical as well, but it picks up the theme on the stripe. This is a gold stripe, so I've made the flower hole gold. But it also picks up the theme of the lining here. So it coordinates and uh, adds a touch of interest. No one wears a flower anymore on their lapel, and, but I still create a feature. For instance, the one I'm wearing is multicolored. The buttonhole itself, or the flower hole if you like, looks like a flower, but it is actually a practical buttonhole. I noticed that the, uh, the, the ticket and the, the flap are slightly different to your, to your usual uh, pockets. What's the reason behind well, that? Well, the usual pockets that you'll find with most other, other tailors, they're parallel. Here, I've created a, a, a feature here with the straight pocket that runs along the same line here, and the flap runs along the same line as the bottom. The shape runs along the same line as the fronts. Now here, but the pocket is angled, which runs along the line of the shoulders. So I'm mirroring the image of the shoulder lines and creating something that's subtly different from every other garment, so that it stands out in an interesting way, as opposed to being garish. I see the, the, the style is uh, slightly different to your normal suit. How did you uh, get to come to, to develop this to where it is well, now? Well, what you might say is a normal suit is what every other tailor does. What I do is different. I first developed this style a very, very long time ago, actually. It's around about 1977 when I entered a competition as a, a very, very young tailor competing against all the tailors in the land at the Merchant Tailors Competition. I wanted to produce a suit that was different to everyone else's. And I wondered, how can I make it different? Because these are really fine tailors that's been doing tailoring a lot longer than I have been. And so I decided to, to take the conventional style and personalize it 
in a way that would make it outstanding in a very, very subtle way. And I did it with the outside chest pocket. I did it with the, the effect of the flaps. I changed the parallel lines, which everyone else does, and so that I'll make it interesting, so that it'll be observed, it'll be commented on. I started using a different color flower hole and the lapel, and then I extended it to the front and to the, to the sleeves, but that's been copied quite a lot. And so what I decided to do more recently is to get a, a thread colored exclusively for myself so I can make a flower hole like I'm wearing that's actually very different. And so this is how I distinguish my style. I continue to innovative ways of making our style distinctive. And here I'm sharing with you all of the subtle changes I've made by transforming the conventional suit into something that's very, very personal. The next stage is to take you through the entire process of how to handcraft a garment that's going to look very much like this one.